Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Talk here at the FG Taurus Company. I'm your host, Matt LePan. Joined once again by our tremendous inside sales manager, Don Garside. Don's been on once before, and we're glad to have him back. Don, thanks for coming back. Hi, Matt, and thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm glad we didn't scare you off the last time. <laughs> Not yet. Today, we're going to be talking about a newer model of heat pump. Don is very experienced in dealing with heat pumps, and what we're going to be talking about today is the low-profile variable speed 19 tier units for train and American Standard, known as the XV19 for train and the Platinum 19 for American Standard. Don, these units are low profile, meaning they don't take up a ton of space. They're quiet, they're efficient. Talking about the footprint that these take up and how big an advantage it is. Can you just touch on that real quick? The footprint of these is about 47 inches wide, I believe, about 45 inches tall, and 18 inches deep, which uh, allows us to mount these on the side of a building for space constraint applications, or they can be mounted on the ground like any other unit. So they're pretty compact given the the high efficiency of the unit. We had talked off the air and we're saying this is kind of a perfect application for if you're in the city and you can't go outside the footprint of your building on the ground, otherwise you're going to be charged money. Right. And the ability to mount these on the side of a building is really a game changer. It is. Some of the towns, Cambridge being one of them, a few of the other metropolitan towns around Boston, they actually require, I think Wellesley is one of them too, they require a surveyor to come out and actually add the location of these units if they're on the ground to the lot line, and then, uh, you know, the politics can go from there. So this takes that out of the equation. We can mount these on a, on a wall-mounted bracket right on the side of the building. One of the things we want to think about when we're mounting these types of units, inverted-driven units on the side of a building on a wall bracket, is the fact that this compressor can run upwards of uh, 6,000 RPM. The issue there is vibration. So we want to make sure that we're using adequate vibration isolation when we mount these on a wall bracket. Whatever you've got available, just something to absorb some of that vibration because when this thing gets up around 6,000 RPM, it'd be noticeable. The fan as well, the condenser fan also gets up into the high RPM ranges. That can cause some vibration. So we want to make sure that uh, anybody installing these is taking that into consideration. What's great about those two is the side discharge allows you to be able to mount on the building or put it in smaller configurations, whether it be in apartment buildings, if it's in a supply closet type of scenario or an HVAC closet. The side discharge really allows for a number of different ways that you can install this unit, correct? Absolutely. You know, the good thing about these is they can be installed on a, say, an apartment balcony, you know, outside a mechanical room. They can actually be installed in a mechanical room. We've seen situations where some of these mechanical rooms on a balcony of an apartment building, or even in some cases a condo, they've got a a louver through the wall, these in a lot of cases can be used in those applications. So the unit, the condensing unit would actually be inside the mechanical room and discharging the condenser air through the louver. So that can be done. The other thing that they can be used for is they can be put under a deck, under a stairway, obviously as we said before, mounted on the wall. There's a lot of application for these in the tight constraints applications. And that 18 inch depth that a 19 and a half sear going up to 19 and a half sear is just so incredibly small compared to some of these other 1920 sear units that you find where their footprint you're going the 47 inches wide but you're also going 30 to 40 inches deep and this is just a much more compact but you're still getting the same performance out of it as those bigger units it is you know it gives you some protection from the weather where you don't have the fan blowing straight up and exposed to the weather a heat pump needs to run in the winter time so if you get an ice storm or ice builds up around the outs the top of a of a standard upflow condensing unit, it can cause problems for the condenser fan, any number of issues. So these here, are, it eliminates some of that. We've got a solid metal top on this, heavy gauge metal. So uh, it's pretty well protected by weather coming at it from the top, which is a good thing. With the sear rating of up to 19 and a half and an HSPF of up to 12, this is considered by both Train American Standard the most energy efficient heat pump that they have. Can you talk about how important that is when you're looking at these heat pumps, especially in a time where folks are really trying to save every dollar they can but still get the most out of their heating systems. With the advent of the variable speed inverter compressors, that technology that we found coming from Mitsubishi and several of the other ductless manufacturers over the years, Ingersoll Rand has invested a lot of resources into developing this inverter driven system. The rebates, a lot of the contractors are really into that. We've got a 
pretty heavy-duty rebate program for 2019, this unit can qualify for $350 per ton out of the box. There are some higher level rebates available utilizing integrated controls that's being addressed now. There'll be some conversation about that down the road. But you know, the high efficiency communicating onboard system with this unit enables us to connect with a furnace, a communicating furnace, communicating indoor air handler. We'd be using a uh, either an 850 or a 1050 thermostat, communicating thermostat. One of the really nice things about these systems is the communicating all happens on three wires, so you don't have to run multiple wires. Uh, in a lot of cases, you know, for a, a high-end unit like this, you might have actually have to add control wires to the installation to upgrade to a unit like this. This runs on three, 18-gauge standard thermostat wire. It's a, basically a computer-controlled machine. It's got an onboard computer. It's got an onboard control panel where you can set the unit up. You can see any alarms or alerts that the system has detected. It can tell you anything that's going on in the system, the compressor RPM, the coil temperature, the outdoor temperature, the superheat, basically all the parameters of the system at any moment, and it's easily accessible. You remove the electrical panel, and this onboard computer screen is, is right there for you, so you can get in there and see all the parameters of the system at any given time. It's a nice system. You mentioned that these units are variable speed. How does variable speed unit benefit the homeowner the end user, whether it be in the apartment or home or anywhere, and why should dealers be looking for variable speed units? How will that help them sell the unit, and what advantages does it have in installation? That's a great question, Matt. Variable speed has been around for quite some time now, and we've seen incredible benefits and a lot of feedback from installing contractors and dealers with regard to the the benefits of a variable capacity system. With the new inverter technology, We're also using variable speed outdoor fans and indoor fans. The whole system is basically infinite capacity. With this unit, the uh, the 19 SEER, we're using an outdoor temperature sensor in the condensing unit to look at the outdoor temperature. We're also looking at the indoor temperature through the indoor coil, and we're, we're looking at those and we're making, the system is making decisions on what capacity or what percentage of capacity to run. As the load changes through the day, the heating load or the cooling load, the sun sweeps from east to west and the room heats up, this system's going to react to that. So it's basically going to be able to maintain that level of comfort the most efficient way possible. So to, it, it will be running the lowest capacity that it can to maintain the set point on the thermostat. And at the same time, it'll be controlling humidity by not short cycling on and off, removing the maximum amount of humidity uh, in the summertime. Uh, and then obviously all of the accessories that are added onto the system. So your air cleaners, your humidifiers, these are all going to be much more effective when the unit is continuously running as opposed to starting and stopping all through the day and the night. So the variable capacity of these systems is is really the main feature of them and it's what gives us the highest level of comfort on any PC equipment in the market and the most reliability. Starting and stopping motors is never a good thing. They It causes high amp draws. Starting a motor 15 times a day. We prefer to see things run more or less continuously and ramp up and down as needed. So that's basically in a nutshell how the variable speed systems benefit the contractors and homeowners of these products. And these can run anywhere between 300 and 700 stages of speed depending on the tonnage which is just an incredible difference in how it's going to run your home and how comfortable your home is going to be. Yeah, that's the widest range in the market. The duration compressor that they use in this thing is an inverter, and it can range anywhere from 300 to 700 steps or stages. No other piece of equipment on the market can claim that. It basically, you can't even really tell that this is stepping or staging. It's just a very smooth transition from one level of capacity to the next. It's a very, very just a very smooth operating machine. That's the key to the, to the comfort this system can provide, is the variable capacity. Not only are these efficient and great for homeowners, great for apartment buildings, hotels, really anywhere, they're quiet. You don't normally think of these high efficient units as being all that quiet. Mm -hmm. These ones are, again, by Trained American Standards website and product information, the quietest ones out there. How does that get determined and how important is it in some of these residential settings, especially as we talked about in a city, to meet these sound requirements? We look, we're talking about the sound pressure levels in, in decibels. These are all tested per ARI 275. They test them in the heating mode. They test them in the cooling mode. They're basically measuring the decibels with a microphone three feet away from the unit, 
five feet off the ground, a microphone located those dimensions from the unit. And they run the unit up to full capacity. For an example, in the case of a, let's take, say, a three-ton unit, we're looking at a 47 decibel rating, between 41 and 47, which puts us in the Mitsubishi range of decibels. Very quiet. This thing is running full tilt. You can barely hear it. It's very, very, very quiet. So these units are efficient, they're quiet, they also qualify for warranties directly from Train American Standard. What kind of warranties are should folks expect out of this and how long of a warranty can they expect? The standard warranty on this is 10 years on the compressor registered and it reverts to 5 years for an unregistered unit. The indoor units either have the 10 year, the furnaces will have lifetime heat exchangers, 10 year parts, all registered warranties. And make sure you're registering those within 60 days of the installation if you want to get full warranties. It's not hard to do. Please make sure you're registering your equipment. It protects you in the long run. It protects the homeowner in the long run. And really, it's going to come back and only look good on you for doing that little bit of extra work. Don, what's really cool about these units is they have a design that makes them available for use on the seacoast as well. Right. So these units can be purchased with an epoxy coated condenser coil and so that basically gets us into the seacoast applications we stock them without but we can order them from the factory they'd be a couple of maybe three weeks lead time to get and they'll they'll be all coated the condenser coil is ready for seacoast duty use don these are obviously top of the line products top of the line in terms of efficiency in terms of it being quiet and all the integrated things you get and all the accessories you can add on to it But for folks who might not be looking to sell this 19th year, might be out of their target area's price range or just not what someone's looking for, this isn't the only option for these low-profile side discharge units, is it? Right, that's right, Matt. The 19 SEER units, you know, that's the most recent addition to the line. But we've, for the last three or four years now, we've also had the 16 SEER units. Single stage, cooling only, or heat pump. We stock those as well. We're seeing more and more application for those, again, you know, for the tight constraint applications under the deck, on the porch, on the balcony type applications. Those are 24 volt control. So they'll work with any 24 volt thermostat or our 824 stat, which is a Wi-Fi stat color touchscreen. And they'll work with all of our furnaces. It'll all work just fine. But then, you know, the 19 SEER is, we'll call it the full boat machine. It's got the AccuLink controls built into it. So it works with all the Nexia products and all the high-end communicating variable speed, variable capacity indoor sections. So we've got a lot of options, a lot of accessories to go with these. And so we can cover a wide range of application, be it the high-end premium applications, 19 SEER, and also on the step down into, I guess we'll call the deluxe applications where we're into the 16 SEER, still rebate eligible models. We carry all of the accessories that go with these. So all the Nexia controls, the cameras, the door locks, the light controls, the alarm systems, all that that go along with the Nexia system. So we've got it all. It's a nice little package. One last thing is the 19 SEER units come in even tonnages only. So the two, three, four, and five ton model, the 16 SEER units come in one half ton increments. So one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and so on. So we've got it pretty well wrapped up. We've got a nice offering here. And if you have any questions on the 19 SEER or the 16 SEER versions of these low profile side discharge units, can always reach out to your territory manager or to Don and his team down in the inside sales staff. Pretty much all those guys will be up to date and they're as close to experts as you'll get on these units. They can get you hooked up with product literature. They can tell you the pricing and all that stuff. Really, they're great units and there are a lot of great options on them and something worth looking into, especially if you're a contractor who works, as we said, in tight spaces, whether it be mostly apartment buildings or in the city or as Don mentioned, on Seacoast where you can get the special epoxy coating and really put these in any application and not have to worry about them. We want to thank Don for coming on here today. Going to look forward to having him back on in the future. We want to thank everyone out there for listening. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and Spotify. Search Taurus Talk. You can follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Use the hashtag Taurus Talk. And finally, as always, you can listen to us on our website, sgtaurus.com backslash podcast. Thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Taurus Talk.